a wonderful, wonderful sight. Congratulations for turning out. So I'm privileged to be here yet again, and I want to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land, pay respects to the Wurundjeri and to Elders past and present, and to acknowledge that sovereignty was never ceded, and let's hope that sometime soon we won't be the only Commonwealth country without a treaty with the first owners of this land. That's something we need to keep fighting for until we've got it as well. It's my delight to be here with our Senator Janet Rice, with Jonathan Marsden and with Olivia Ball. And I love coming to these rallies for many reasons. One is the signs. Um, my favourite is still a guy who had one that said simply, because I look good in tulle. <laughs> and it's my hope that one day you'll be able to wear that tulle and that we can see the pictures of the proof of it. But another was one that said, I can't believe we're still protesting this crap. Yeah. It didn't say crap, but this is a family event, so you can imagine what it actually said. And as Anthony said, it's worth just reminding ourselves why we are here. It was over a decade ago that John Howard brought in the straight Australia policy oh. and introduced the Marriage Discrimination Act and got it through Parliament in a couple of hours with the Labor Party support. Not because there was any legal problem with the laws, but simply because as an act of hate, he wanted to send a message to the community in the same way as so many people in Parliament are wanting to do now. And since then, since then, you and we have campaigned to overturn that act of hate and to send the message to the country that love is love, equality is non-negotiable, and in Australia, we want to make sure that everyone feels like they have a place. And over that time, over that time, you have changed hearts and you have changed minds. In Parliament, it has been our absolute privilege to be a voice to move the first legislation to remove discrimination from the Marriage Act, to have an inquiry that saw more submissions than any other inquiry in the history of the Australian Parliament with a majority of Australians coming out and saying, we want equality in our marriage laws. And to make sure that in Parliament, the message is sent out to every young boy in a country town who's working out who he's attracted to, or every young girl at high school who wants to take her girlfriend to the formal, that the Australian Parliament believes that you are equal and that you are valued and that we love you. Yeah. And as being that voice in Parliament, together with all of you who have never given up and have just got stronger and stronger, look at what you have done. Over that time, you have managed to get one side of politics to change from voting for the marriage discrimination legislation to now saying they're going to be in a rush to introduce a bill to reverse it. And I've got to say, look, there were times where I had legislation before Parliament where they could have voted for it and we would have got it through. But frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn who moves the legislation. I just want it to get passed. Let's make sure it happens. But, and we've had some successes on the Liberal side of Parliament, where we've slowly got one after another to come out and say they would change their mind, but it is proving tough. And it is proving tough, but we have got the opportunity to do something about it. Malcolm Turnbull had the gall to come out this week and say, well, traditionally these things in Parliament are voted on by a free vote of members of the Liberal and National parties. Well, it seems that he's not going to give members of parliament a free vote to vote for marriage equality but he will give them a free vote to vote against it and then he came out and said well i'm going to allow the hard right members of my parliament to have a conscience vote no matter what the plebiscite says so we're going to go through this dangerous divisive plebiscite that is going to damage people's lives and they're not even going to be bound by it well malcolm turnbull says the hard right won't be bound by the plebiscite, but clearly the hard right have bound him. Clearly the hard right have bound him. And like most of you, I breathed a huge sigh of relief when we got rid of Tony Abbott, but what I didn't realise is that we were going to keep Tony Abbott's policies. And that's what Malcolm Turnbull is doing at this election. Well, there's a wake-up call for him over the last couple of days coming from the United Kingdom. 
If Malcolm Turnbull thinks the answer of dealing with the hard right of his party is to continue to give in to them, well, sooner or later they're going to have your head on a plate and the voices of hate are just going to go stronger and stronger and stronger. So, Malcolm Turnbull, if you think giving in to the hard right is the way to deal with their voices of hate and their campaign against equality, well, Malcolm Turnbull, you are on your way to becoming the next David Cameron. Next week, Adam, I'm sorry. You have got the opportunity I'm sorry to, to bother do you. About it. When are you going to help me find out who Saturday these thugs are, Adam? Love. These thugs are assaulting me. When are you going to help me find weeks, out who these thugs fear, are? Choose hope. When are you going to find? When are you going to help me? When are you going to help me? Find out who these one thugs are. Who can't be here with Adam, today. help me find out who Paul these thugs are. Out how to vote. Next, Jason Ball, get, get who hands off me. is standing in the seat of Higgins. When are you going to help Thanks me find out Ball, who these thugs are? are? So many people right around when the When are you going to so help me find out who these thugs are? That they can come out to their mates in their footy team and say, I am proud of who help I am. Help me find out who the thugs are, are, Adam. are on the verge of the AFL, now having a national Keep your hands around. off me. And Keep because your hands of off me. Can you and because of him, we are on the verge of the Greens winning the first seat held by the Liberals. You're on the back of marriage equality. Keep, keep your hands off me. Keep your hands off me. Keep your hands off me. They like to lose Get votes. Out here. And they certainly don't no, like to lose keep their Keep your hands off and me. Seats start out. changing Get hands, back, buddy, buddy. not on the basis of who can run the best fear campaign, but on the back basis of who can run the best campaign for love, then the country is going to stand up and take notice. This guy is... So but wherever you are, I urge you Shit. to do something that no one else Get can. Vote for love and we here. will make it. Get out. Damn, mate. Get Fuck off. And Get out. It is now Get my out. absolute privilege to Keep introduce going, to you someone who may not assault me. He may win a seat that is a seat held by someone who up until he moved from the Senate and shoehorned himself into the lower house of parliament. This guy will not help me find out out who assaulted me. One of the highest proportion of same-sex couples in it. And he can't even bring himself to live in it. He lives in my Get your bloody hands off me. But get your hands off me. Someone who I hope is going to be not just next to me in geography, is going to be sitting next to me in parliament. 